Welcome to a Song of Ice and Fire Symposium. My name is Nav, and my pronouns are they, them. And my name's Harmit, and my pronouns are Hershey, like the chocolate. And this is A Storm of Swords, chapters 38, 39, and 40. We're into the 40s, y'all. Uh, the people are Tyrion, Arya, and Bran, by the way. Not that anybody cares. In these chapters, Tyrion goes... Viper, no viping! Welcome to the podcast, everyone. Hello, Harmuth, how are you? Uh, let me not ask I mean, that. Let's see. What did you? No, <laughs> no. Okay, no. I think the listeners should know. So, if, okay, if this is your first time tuning into an episode, I'm sorry. I am very sad today. So I'm gonna like this is not what I sound like. Also, we're rec- okay. Usually we record in the evenings, like exclusively. But today we're recording in the afternoon. And as a night hour, recording in the afternoon to me is like the equivalent of recording early morning. So. Yeah, anyway, I'm sad and it's morning. However, these were ni- I-, I enjoyed reading these chapters because they were kind of low stress, so I didn't have to think about them too hard, so it was nice. Yeah, okay. Who dies in these chapters? Bro, stop. Okay, let's just, let's do it together. Okay, so okay. I don't think anybody dies in Tyrion's chapter, except for all the Lannisters so that are, and the Tyrells that are definitely going to die, not that the Red Viper is here. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so then, that's that. In Arya's chapter, they have a battle, so like a bunch of people die, yeah. but mostly like, like people on, bloody mummers, so it's fine. Yeah, mummers, and then like a Kyle dude is the only name that I remember being like, oh, that yeah, was one of our Yeah, I don't dudes. even remember that, so <laughs> it was just, <laughs> you're way ahead of me. It was just me. a couple, of, <laughs> it was just like, it was just a few people, you know, as as it goes in no battles yeah um and then brands uh Brand's chapter i, I don't really think don't anybody think died. died yeah they kind of just walked and like worried about dying <laughs> yeah okay that was easy okay and you said no. you liked these chapters because they were low-key and you need something low-key yeah i yeah i when i sat down to read these yesterday i was like i do not I cannot read this. But then I started reading and I was like, oh, nothing's happening. This is like, and most weeks I'd be like annoyed by that. But this was, I needed nothing to happen this week. So it was great. (laughs) Yeah, Uh, I'm cool with them too. Hopefully that'll mean that we won't like dawdle on for too long, you know, as we tend to do. So a quick summary in a three, a two, a three, two, one, go. Wait, who was who was first? Was it <laughs> Tyrion? Tyrion? Yeah. Tyrion was first. Okay, okay thank you. Now. Okay, so um, Tyrion um goes out to meet the Red Viper. Has people accompany him. Red Viper has a bunch of people. He's like, oh, why is this not D- Doran? Why is it Red Viper? Okay, what's going on? Talks to Red Viper. Red Viper is very upfront. He's like, when do we get our like not payment but payback? I don't I don't remember the exact words that he used, but he's like, when do we get our shit? I'm not here. Like the reason I'm here. I ain't the kind one. I ain't the, like, forgiving soul. You better get me this shit. Also, I met you when you were just born, and Cersei was nursing you, switch. and- Wait, nurse. Um, okay. Uh, switch to Arya. <laughs> Arya. What happens in Arya's chapter? Oh, Arya. Okay, so, um, they, you know, bloody members have, you know, taken over this house, and they're like, and then, so we're, you know- you know what they're I mean? battle like, the bloody mummers surprise surprise yeah. attack that's what i'm trying to say okay surprise attack on bloody mummers <laughs> um bloody mummers destroyed um captive cap not captivated captive um uh, questioned um hung okay um, switch bran okay. Bran. Okay, Bran. What is Bran doing? Oh, yeah, okay. So, um, we're like 50 leagues from the wall, and there's a hold fast and a tower or something. I don't remember. There was like two different things. Um, and they go there because Bran remembers stories, slay, but then there's a man, and we're like, oh my god, we don't trust this man. Who is this man? And then there's more men, and it's really scary. And he can, like, take over, and he can, like, warg into Hodor, and, like, that was creepy. And so now we're just waiting for the morning, and hopefully we don't die. Oh, that was exactly half, like, 30 seconds for that one. <laughs> Nice. And you actually it's got like, through like all of it. Yeah, third time's the charm. I really said. <laughs> so we need to be reading in threes instead of twos. <laughs> yeah, by the time I 
get get into it, it's done. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. So we should have you summarize all the chapters in the book all at once. <laughs> you think I would remember a single no. thing? No. <laughs> um, but you still I, have plans to apparently like yeah, combine doing, all your I'm summaries. Do that. I'm gonna do that when I'm not dying. Okay. <laughs> All right, I, I so I guess, um, like, maybe a month before you're actually dead, we'll maybe get that. Because that will be the only <laughs> time you're not dying. Because <laughs> hopefully, I'm like, dead. having death on the horizon will be like, you know what, maybe I should stop dying so hard. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This doesn't I, make no, sense. I, okay. Um, yeah. You know what? Let's Let's just put it this way, okay? This is our, is it our 93rd or 94th? I don't episode? know, something. It's one of those. Okay. It's either 93rd or 95th. I have a strong feeling it's 93rd and not 95th. Yeah, I think so. This is our 93rd episode. I feel like I'll do the summary before the 100th. You don't have to. It's okay. You don't have to worry about that. No, like I want to. It's in my list. I just haven't done it Okay, fine. You can. Like I want to. (laughs) All right, cool. Um... For once, this isn't peer pressure. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> this is like please don't put this pressure on yourself really <laughs> no i think it'll be cool it'll be fun um to do, do, do what we're doing oh yes uh chapter so Tyrion. let me actually get to the beginning of yes. that chapter because i'm all over the place right now 38 38 last year last year i had 39 <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. Um, is that right? <laughs> Am I at the right page? Okay, Tyrion. That's what it says. Okay. So, yes. Tyrion has been sent out to greet the Dornish party that is coming in for the wedding and for some sweet, sweet justice. And, um, um, they're not, they didn't send Joffrey because Joffrey's a little shit and is, does not know how to be <laughs> diplomatic. Really? Uh, yeah, who would have thunk it? Um, and they're just, you know, look, there's a bunch of different, they're looking at all the banners approaching and there's so many. Tyrion's like, oh my God, has he brought like all of Dorne here? Like what's going on? And they're having, um, Podrick name all the banners and their house and the sigil and all of that. And he does it all and yay. Icon. Yeah, I don't feel like repeating any of them, but they're in the book if anybody's interested. We don't, yeah, we don't know any of these people yet, so I feel like their names are not relevant. Yeah, it's really I don't think I've heard any of these names before. Yeah. There's a chicken. No, not a chicken. Uh, (laughs) What does he say? Uh, A cockatrice. (laughs) Right. I was like, okay, Pod, (laughs) go off, Mr. (laughs) Detail-oriented. Um, and yeah, so... Tyrion is praising Pod and like building up his confidence. We love to see that mentorship, you know? It's great. Yeah. And uh, Tyrion is noting that all of the houses that Pod's named are like significant people. They're not like minor nobody houses. And yeah. uh, they're sending a message with bringing this party. So he's worried. Yay. He's like, oh my God, did I make a mistake by sending Marcella down to Sunspear? Like, what is happening here? Mm hmm. And they're looking for a litter, uh, that's what they call it, <laughs> like a little palaquin, um, for, because Prince Doran, the ruler in Doran, Doran of Doran, is uh, old and gouty, they keep saying. <laughs> like, he has gout. I don't know why. Oh, my God. Is ga- Like, is that a thing? Okay, it doesn't matter. So <laughs> he usually travels in a litter because he can't do horses, and they're looking for this litter, but they can't find it. And then Tyrion finally, like, takes a look and he's like, oh, I think that there is Oberyn Nymeros Martell, the Red Viper. And this means bad things for us. And there's, like, some other descriptions of, like, generally the... Because the Dornish are made up of, like, these varied ethnicities because they merged with the Roinar and... Like, depending on how that Ooh. happened, it's, like, all of these very, very, very varied people. You know, <laughs> okay, I had, this, like, made me think, because we've, like, we've come across people of, like, different ethnicities and, like, 
different skin colors and all that. Mm-hmm. But like, like, is there racism in this world? A hundred percent. No, but like, but like, is it? Is it like the same principle where it's like darker, terrible? Because uh, I feel like we just haven't. Like, I don't know if we. Well, seen there that. is that one point where at the hands tourney way back in book one. Sansa mm. sees the Prince of the Summer Isles, like, I can't remember, Jalabarzo, is that his name? He comes here with Tyrion, I can't remember, what did he say? Uh. Anyway, so there's a Prince of the Summer Isles who's a black man, and Sansa sees him, and she's like, oh my god, he's so scary! Like, <laughs> oh, you know? Okay. And it's like, oh, right. Sansa, that's... <laughs> You might, Ooh, okay. Yeah, that's, interesting. Okay. Yeah, and you know cool. the books are based in Westeros, which is basically like Europe, and yeah, it's yeah. all white people all the time, and it's <laughs> no wonder it stinks. So yeah, much. just kidding. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god! But like, even the Red Viper yeah. pulls up, and he's like, "Y'all stink <laughs> over here." <laughs> Oh and God. your food has no taste it's all bland <laughs> your wine's too sweet that was funny i enjoyed that yeah that he's like, like don't off, bring Mr. this caucasian bullshit into this ethnic <laughs> household <laughs> true <laughs> true oh my god um anyway yeah. um where were we oh yeah just the different ethnicities racism 100 yeah. percent exists and we also saw like early on when daenerys and them are first meeting the dothraki and everybody's like "Ooh, them dothraki they're yeah. savages and they're oily and greasy yeah so yeah racism yeah. exists yay <laughs> yeah but i yeah but i didn't know if it was like that based in color because we just like you said these people are white all the time so it literally never comes up like whenever whenever he describes someone as like olive skinned i'm like oh my god we haven't had this description in like a full book like what's happening right I think if, like, Westerosi went over to Essos, like, they might not be treated as well because, you know, they're the foreigners there. But because most of the story is set in Westeros and that's, like, the power, like, the power structure, like, all the white people hold the power in Westeros, it is, like, racism against people of color. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, um, banners, banners, banners uh people 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 oh they've got these like cool horses that are like smaller and swifter than the rest of the horses in westeros which i'm like yeah and they're called what are they called steeds of dorne sand steeds of dorne Mm -hmm. that's cool (laughs) yeah i know nothing about horses but that sounds cool (laughs) (laughs) yeah um makes me wonder do they have camels Ooh, i don't know We've seen zebras, which they call zorses, because, like, the mummers have <laughs> those, right? Right. The striped horses called zorses. <laughs> uh, I think we should adopt that in the real world. You just call them zorses <laughs> instead of zebras? Yeah. Yes. Zed for zorses. is such a boring name. Come on. <laughs> is yeah. it? I like the word zebra. I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like it because then people are like, zebra, zebra, it's all the same. Oh. Does anybody actually say zebra? I've never I've heard, heard that. Multiple people say zebra. Really? And I'm like, and I'm like, like this is this is just you trying to be quirky. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Like, <laughs> that's not like it's not a common enough pronunciation. Where like, oh, you learned it wrong when you were a kid. It's like, no, you definitely are just like, I am so quirky. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry to anyone who says it in real life. I appreciate you as a person. I just am making fun of you. Yeah. Okay. So it's all Jake. Yeah. People. They catch up with Prince Doran and he's like, Oh yeah, sorry, my bro couldn't be here. He's sick or whatever. And I'm here to take his place in Joffrey's council. And uh it turns like, Oh, wonderful. Oh, <laughs> lovely. Thank you. Please for being here. Yeah, and he goes and like introduces all the people and then he introduces Ilaria Sand, his own paramour, and turns like fuck. She's oh his paramour God. and she's bastardborn. This is gonna cause all sorts of seating chart troubles, cause Cersei's uh-huh. not gonna want her up at the high table, but 
Do- wait, what's his name? Viper? Yes. What's his... Obred is going to want him there. Wait, do they catch up to... Did I say they catch up to Doran? Anyway, I think I said that wrong. So, Obred Martell would want his paramour next to him, but Cersei would not, and that's going to mm-hmm. cause trouble. Yay. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> we love a hypocritical queen yeah and then Tyrion introduces his people it's like really lacking company compared to what Oberyn's brought mm-hmm. but you know it's fine you know it's okay and they're like wow Joffrey sent his uncle imp to us I'm like this man is coming out of the gate trying to start like, he's not here to make friends he- yeah literally as soon as he opens his mouth, every single thing that he utters is just like, you are like, wow, okay. Yeah. Just like <laughs> asking for, you're just provoking people for no, it's, I think he that has is a sword his purpose. in his hand. <laughs> no, like I get that, but it's just like, it's just not a very He's just poking at people wherever he goes. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, ooh, do, yeah. poke, poke. And I'm we- poking my lap. Tyrion thinks about his reputation a little bit and we learn some stories um, yeah. of how like when he was 16 he was found in bed with some lord's paramour and then he fought this lord lord iron okay I know it says Y-R-O-N wood I- I'm pretty sure it's actually pronounced ironwood wow I know that's so quirky <laughs> for no reason I know like, please just stop so, the guy challenges Auburn to a duel and they fight but it's only to like whoever draws fl- first blood and yeah. the Lord is injured and Prince Oberyn is also injured, but Oberyn recovers while the Lord's wound festers and he, die- <gasps> like he dies. So everybody's like, oh ooh, Oberyn poisoned his sword. And ever since, Whoa. they've everybody's called him the Red Viper. <sighs> yeah. And then he, like we learned he's like a world traveler, He's learned in the poison arts and <gasps> he even went to the Citadel to become a maester and he forged and like... And then he got bored. Yeah, he got six links, which is like he finished like nine, uh, seven out of eight semesters and then he was like, I'm bouncing. That's, yeah. Because the really way the, just like... the chains work is like once you forge a chain that you can wear around your neck, like you're a maester. Mm. So, oh. <laughs> like, six links is pretty, like, that seems like a lot yeah, of links. Yeah. And depending yeah. on if you have, like, a thick or a thin neck, <laughs> you could easily become yeah. a maester. Not easily, yeah. but, you know, yeah, more easily like than not... somebody who might need an extra link. But he got six links, yeah. and he was like, you know what? I'm, I'm a bounce. I'm tired. This is boring. <laughs> That's, huh. Oh, I, interesting. Very interesting. Yeah. Uh... And then each, like, I love, so like, the he's maesters. Like, every- he's, like, the definition of, like, oh, he has so much potential. He just doesn't apply himself. <laughs> he's, like, the definition of Kind of. He's, like, the second or, like, the, well, he's the second son, third child. Um, oh. So, oh, yeah. that checks out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he. That's so funny. He, like, went overseas and then, like, fought with the second sons. And then he was, like, you know oh, what? I don't God. like these guys. I'm going to start my own company. <laughs> insanity yeah and he's just known for his tourneys his battles his duels his horses his carnality which is where we learned that this guy be by and i love that Mm -hmm. um and also strangely he only ever has daughters Mm -hmm. which like i guess it's possible but that is weird right (laughs) Yeah, no, that's really weird. It's it's giving. I hope it's not giving Craster, but <laughs> no, I don't. I don't think. So. No, I, I'm not. I'm not like saying that it is, but it just that was my first thought, and I was like, gross. No, but even know? Craster has sons. He just gets rid of his sons. Yeah, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe this man just like has like the strong. Know. What is it? X G. Yeah, X, yeah, like maybe this man is just. Maybe his Y chromosome, just something's going on and it's just not happening. Yeah. Either way. Or maybe it doesn't exist. He, That's possible. Yeah. He I has think. a bunch of daughters all over Dorne and they're called the Sand Snakes because he's mm-hmm. the Red Viper. So, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta so stay on theme. Right. Um, And then, of course, if you remember, he's the one who hurt 
Willis Tyrell, like, or like, <gasps> like Willis Tyrell got injured in a fight or what's it called? Tur- like a tourney. Mm, uh, Lance. Wait, there's a word for it. A, a duel? A uh, lance? <laughs> wait, no, a lance is an object. It's the um, word. It is, yeah, like at a tourney while fighting while opposing Oberyn. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Um, there's a word for it that I just can't remember right now, but somebody's yelling it at me. I know I can hear you, but <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. Um, yeah, and turns like, oh my god, everybody hates this guy, especially the Tyrells. <laughs> and it's oh just god. gonna take one little like snipe at somebody and this is like our allies are gonna be at each other's throats and i'm like in the side just cheering a little bit because i don't want the lannisters to win so i'm like oh, yeah, yeah lose your allies no yeah i'm like yeah you know why don't you go off at each other this is not a happy friendship yeah mess it up right now so um Oberyn, uh like is like oh you know this isn't the first time first time we've met i met you when you were a baby and i saw you naked yeah, I don't think that's the moral of the story, though. <laughs> no, but I'm just like, why? Like, this is such an odd. Yeah. Anyway, so they, so Oberyn and Elia had gone to Casterly Rock with their mother, who was the princess, like in charge of Dorne at the time, and uh, they were there when Oberyn was like fourteen, fifteen, and. Uh, Cersei and Jamie were like eight or nine so that's how much older they are from Tyrion like eight or nine years older because Tyrion had just been born and Oberyn and everybody had heard stories of this monster that had been born in Casterly Rock and everybody was like he's got a tail and fangs and shit and uh, when they go and actually see him he's just like a baby you know <laughs> He's just like a baby. Like, yeah. They're just like They're like, fuck? yeah, your head was a little small and like or big and your legs yeah. were a little small, but like Like your proportions were like your proportions were like a little off, but like aren't most like I feel like most babies are born with big heads. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like that's just kinda how babies work. Like Yeah. So I feel like most of it was just the whole, like, you know, Tywin, like, lost his love. What's yeah. Um, that Lady was Joanna. Yeah, yeah. We learned Lady about Joanna. how much she loved her and how he was not the same man after she died. That's crazy. And I they say see, like, that, like, because he was the hand that yeah. Tywin ruled the Seven Kingdoms, but Lady Joanna ruled Tywin. Yeah. <laughs> so. I, man, I want to see, like, a pre... <laughs> My brain went prehistoric. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, I, I want to see... Like a Tywin know, with a heart? Yeah, I want to see a Tywin who was a person, you know? Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I get it. I do, too. Mm. But it, it's, like... He's such a, could- such a piece of shit now, like... You know, I know. Y- you lose I know. like one person and that's it. Like you're just a piece of shit. I feel like maybe he was just nice to that one person, but that doesn't like really, no. you know? Right, right. No, I mean, yeah. It's not like he was doing nice things when he was working under Eris. Like the fact that he survived that long doesn't mean, like kind of proves that he wasn't that great of a person anyway. But still, like, you know, like he might not have. He might have been less cruel, like less quick to be like. So you're saying if Tyrion I... had been born, Tywin would that have been cool. That is not what I'm saying. <laughs> that is not what I'm saying. Do not put words into my mouth. But it's my favorite just... activity. No, I don't have the patience for it today. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. But it's just like, like I don't know. I just, I'm not saying. I'm not trying to justify him. I'm just like, oh, I feel bad for you. You know. Yeah. You know? And um, like he's still shitty, but we also yeah. learned like some of this Tyrion has learned from his uncle Tyrion. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. <laughs> I'm just gonna I say it, rhyme it with Tyrion, you know. Um, I love that. That's beautiful. Yeah, who's Tyrion and Tyrion? <laughs> so Tyrion was Tywin's young youngest brother, and yeah. he apparently is lost beyond the seas. But he was Tyrion's favorite uncle, and that's also sad. Oh. I wonder if he survived and if he'll ever, like, show up again, you know? Yeah. Kind of hope for, like, Tyrion's sake. 
It'll be, I'm calling it right now. I should put this in the correct predictions thread because I already know it's going to happen. <laughs> it'll be in the book. It'll be in the next book that's going to come out if it ever comes out. Like book six that hasn't come out yes. yet? Yes. Okay. Um, and well, we can't put it in the correct predictions because nobody would know if that's the <laughs> correct predictions, you know? <laughs> um. Oh, so you're saying it wasn't... Well, if we... in order, no, 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 in order for nobody to know, it would have to have not already come up in the third, fourth, or fifth book. No, what I'm saying is, if it happens in the sixth book, then nobody would know. Fine, fine, fine. Um, but also, I think the kid that got lost in the riot is this guy's kid. So that's why Tyrion was like, "Oh, oh I, that was my favorite uncle. I kind of want to save his kid." <gasps> so now the uncle is lost, oh. and the kid is lost. <laughs> I can't. This is like a family. <laughs> This is genetic. I, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> uh, yeah. So uh, back to the story, the Red Viper story. He's like, yeah, we saw you and you were fine, but like, whatever. Um, no. But your sister hated you. She like, mm -hmm. um, oh yeah, she's like, she tells off the the wet nurse and is like, you're just a cow. I don't need you here. And yeah then like goes to goes on like so Tyrion's just like a baby like a literal like he's just been born kind of baby and I'm just a baby C C Cersei's just already um what oh yeah she pinches his penis to a point where like Tyrion is crying and wailing in pain oh my god and only stops when Jamie is like dude enough um I can't yeah and, and Tyrion's like, oh, my sweet sister, you know, she's been mm -hmm. after me <laughs> ever since. And then he like scratches the scar on his nose because I think he still believes that Cersei was the one behind that attack, even though we haven't received any confirmation yet. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So there's that. Yeah. Um, and then the Red Viper is like, oh, yeah, that story. OK, cool. Um, and. By the way, I heard you're now taxing sex work. That's interesting. Uh. Um, so it's Tywin's invention, which is to charge a penny for every act, which I'm like, what does act count? Like, yeah, what can, what's the, the specifics what if you, what of if, this? Yeah, what if, what if, like, you just go at it continuously? Like, does every single, like, what, how do you, how do you define and who's act? monitoring, and who's monitoring that? Is the, is, like, the worker, like, oh, we did it ten times. <laughs> like, do you know, like, how do you, what? You know, like. Yeah. Um, anyway, so that's the tax that they've come up, that, uh, Tywin has come up with but because Tyrion is the hand oh no not hand the master of coin he's the one who gets the blame for this of course. and it's Yay. called a dwarf's penny now so oh my god yeah <laughs> um yes. at least in this way they're acknowledging and decriminalizing sex work so yay for that <laughs> yeah yay <Slice> slice. <laughs> yeah I don't know but this is like a way to Apparently, according to Tywin, help the morale of the city, which I'm like, why would anybody be happy about paying yeah, extra for it? I, yeah, I think he just needed something to say to be like, oh, we're totally not going broke. Yeah, <laughs> but the main taxing. reason is to pay for Joffrey's wedding. So this is the solution they've come up with. Joffrey's yeah. wedding is being held up by the hard work of sex workers. Just saying. Slay. <laughs> yeah. Slay, slay. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, and then Tyrion's like, "Oh, you? Why are you interested in that? I thought you had a paramour." And Oberyn's like, "Oh yeah, we love like that's great, but like sometimes we just want another person to share, and we're looking for a blonde person specifically. Got any recommendations?" And Tyrion's like, mm -hmm. "Oh, you know, I'm a man wedded. I don't do that anymore." <laughs> <laughs> um, right. Yeah. And and then to Oberyn, like, abruptly switches the subject and is like, so, what kind of food are y'all going to be serving? And when and... whenabouts will justice be served? <laughs> that was, that was kind of smooth. I got to give that to him. <laughs> that was smooth. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Tyrion's like, oh, yeah. Um, uh, were y'all close, you and your sister? <laughs> and Oberyn's oh like, yeah. 
as children, Elia and I were inseparable, much like oh your own brother god. and sister. And Tyrion thinks, gods, I hope not. <laughs> oh my god, I can't. <laughs> I just had uh. to laugh at that a little bit. <laughs> it's too much. It's too much. Yeah. Uh, but Oberyn... Like, if you told me three years ago... <laughs> <laughs> I'd be doing a podcast on a series with like incest. I'd be like, "What? No, what? Like, what are you on about? Like, this is just—it's just funny to me." Anyway, continue. <laughs> yeah, that's not how like anybody advertises a series, but unfortunately, it is about that, especially with like all the Targaryens. Yeah, yeah. Ugh. Anyway, what's yeah. oh so, no, the, and that like extra came up with the House of the Dragon series that came out last year because it's oh all no. about Targaryens. Oh my god! And then all of a sudden you're yeah. like rooting for these incest couples, and you're like, "What am I doing?" I can't. <laughs> ah! Oh my god! You're like, "Yeah, that's my power couple, my OTP." <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I can't. Uh, anyway. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, but yeah, um, Tyrion tries to like give this very diplomatic answer, yeah, like, like, "Oh, like you we'll know, get around once the marriage it. is over, like you know, we'll convene the council and we'll do a little like investigation, like our inquiry, and we'll figure it out." And he's like, "Dude, they already did all of this. You are just spoon feeding me nonsense. Shut the fuck up and do something, or else I'll figure it out myself." Yeah, and he's like, "I know who's guilty, and it's." Gregor Clegane, and before and he dies, the enormity that rides will tell me whence came Ooh. his orders, Ooh. and I will kill Kate. that person too. And Kate, so was that Tywin? Do we? Oh, know it was one hundred percent Tywin. Like we okay. know that. Like it's got like the okay, okay. mountain doesn't do okay. any like. Okay, the mountain is wild, but like I thought the mountain because I didn't know if it was like the mountain was just like. Slay, slay, slay. I think the mountain might have added his own like addition of cruelty to it, but Tywin was probably like, "Go kill those kids in Ilya." Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I still don't understand what Tywin is like. I'm just gonna, you know, like who's he gonna substitute like that? Yeah. There's like, is the mountain like is giving up the mountain worth the support of Dorne? Maybe. Yeah, but even if he does that. He gives up the mountain for the support of Dorne. Dorne doesn't just want the mountain. Dorne's also like, who made, who told the mountain to do, like, yeah. You know I mean? And I, I'm pretty I sure, like, like, Dorne knows it was Tywin. They just need the mountain to say it. But maybe Tywin will be like, oh, the mountain just went on off on his own and he's a wild dog. He's, and he's lying now. Yeah, yeah. All of that. I don't know. Yeah, but. But like you said, like, Dorne likely knows, so are they going to stand for that? Or, like, because... Well, it depends yeah, on can... how Tywin spins it. So I guess it, like... Yeah. Yeah. We we have to wait and see. Okay. Interesting. And maybe if, you know, the Viper isn't satisfied, maybe he'll take matters into his own hands. Who knows? Yeah. I do, but still. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Nice to know this gets resolved before the sixth book, since you know what happens. No, nah, I won't. Re resolved is resolved a big is word. a strong word. <laughs> yeah, resolved like... is a strong word. I realized as soon as I said it that that's what you were going to say. Okay, like... fine. It, at least we get some follow up in some form before the sixth <laughs> book. I feel like I can say that confidently. <laughs> 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 okay so uh, oh i love this this uh so the mountain is like an old septon septon once claimed i was living proof that the god of the goodness of the gods and do you know why and Tyrion's like no and, and oberon's like oh it's because if the gods were cruel they would have made me my f mother's firstborn instead my brother is in charge and he's patient and prudent and whatever, but uh -huh. I am none of that. And I'm here now and I'm going to burn the shit down because I know about the secret wildfire in the city. I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, that would be a nice twist. <laughs> that would be nice. Um, yeah, the midden heap you call King's Landing. <laughs> Yeah, Tyrion's like, do you see that city over there? It's full of like half a million people and like all these thousands of soldiers that are all on our side. What are you going to do against all that? Yeah. And um, yeah. D -d 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 
Okay, so, like, obviously, the great houses are, like, at least a little bit rich, right? Yeah. They're, like, pretty like pretty rich. <laughs> yes. Like, the fact that they can maintain their status. Okay, so all of that. And I know that, like, the Lannisters are, like, crazy rich. But, like, like how does it, like, compare? with Like, like do we know? Like, because I know everyone's always, Compared like, oh. to who? Like, compare between like, the houses? Yeah. Like, let's say Lannister and Dorne. Like, okay, so I know, like, Lannisters are probably, like, the one of the Lannister. richest because uh, they've got those gold mines. Like, their wealth comes from the fact that their land is rich in gold. And then yeah. the Tyrells are pretty rich, too, because they feed the entire country, kind of. Yeah. Um, And Martells. How do they compare? I th- I don't think they're as rich as the Lannisters or even the Tyrells, but they're still a great house. Like, they got money, mm-hmm. you know? Okay. Like nobody's gonna be begging on the streets anytime soon. Oh yeah, but yeah, interesting. Okay. Yeah, and like the way the like you know feudal systems work is like the serfs they don't call them serfs but the common people do all the work as always. <laughs> uh, they get to keep like a small portion of whatever they make to sustain themselves. The rest goes to their lord. And then yeah. the Lord gets to keep a portion of that and the rest goes to the Lord above them until the very top, like the great houses and then like yeah. they pay taxes to the crown and all of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just depends on like what kind of output they're having like in their region, yeah. you know? I think the Dornish have, what do they have? Because they're like desert, you know? Right. Um, so what do they bring to the table? I'm sure they, like, there's something <laughs> that I'm, like, of course they bring something to the table, but I just can't remember what exactly. I think they've got, like, trade, because Dorne is close, like, down at the bottom, and ships gotta pass around Dorne to get to, like, Old Town, which is one of the major mm. ports, so. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Export, import type things. Interesting. Yeah. Maybe they export those horses they've got, the nice ones. Right. Yeah. Or some snakes or vipers or... (laughs) Yeah. I don't know. I don't know the economics well enough, but... Cool, cool. Yeah. I should look into that. That's actually a very interesting point. I'm going to note that down. Mm -hmm. Economics of Dorn. I feel like... What was the thing you used to read earlier? Race for the Iron Throne. <laughs> I feel like, yeah, I feel like that would come up. Um, somewhere. I think it would. It, it would probably. I feel like Stephen Atwell has probably written about this. I will look into his website. Um, the thing that's interesting though is that in the years that we've been doing this podcast, we are yeah. almost caught up to the point where he's <gasps> covered the books. <laughs> no. That's so sad. Yeah, honestly, like he hasn't finished all of book three yet. <gasps> what? Yeah. Wait, but like, because he writes like one of one chapter a month or something. Because he he's oh, got because he shit goes to do. Hard- yeah, and he goes hardcore. Yeah, he goes hardcore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Whoa. Do we know his like day job? Like, what does he do? Uh, I'm not sure, but he has a okay. He has a PhD in history or something. So go off. He's an ac- he's like a academic. You he's know? an academic. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, go off. <laughs> okay, slay, slay, slay. Yeah, I should. He. I'm sure he's done stuff. Um. So I have to look into it. I just have to find it. I just. Yeah. I haven't been reading mm-hmm. as much of his summaries recently, mostly because I didn't have time for the last year. <laughs> Yeah. Um, and then I just kind of sort of forgot about it. But thank you for reminding me. You're welcome. Okay, so we'll get back to the economics of Dorne. But here, <laughs> they bring up, like, the thing with Willis a little bit. And yeah. Oberyn is like, oh, Willis? Him and I are best bros. What are you talking about? Like, he knows that this was not my fault. This was, in fact, his dad's fault for putting him in the tourney so young. And... Willis and I are cool like yeah yeah totally no <laughs> ill will totally I actually believe him yeah but 
I feel like there's ill will between like Mace Tyrell and Oberyn because Mace Tyrell is like all horrible. No, yeah, like Willa seems like a nice person and like I get that, but I just think it's funny how he's like, oh, Willis loves me, therefore there will be no like. Oh, I don't think he says that. He's. I think it comes up in like, oh, um, he's like, oh, if the Tyrells mess with me, I'll trample those roses. And then turns like, oh, as you trampled Willis Tyrell, and that's when Oberyn like clarifies. I know, but he just like I don't know. He's I think he's still like I'm gonna trample the rest of them roses, just not the Willis rose. (laughs) I mean, Willis ain't here right now for you to trample anyway. So and then he calls Renly. No, sorry, he calls Loris Renly's little rose. rose. That was that was like I hate that it came from him, but that was really cute. (laughs) You know. That's sweet. <gasps> Wait, and Renly is the king of flowers? Or the, yeah, king of flowers? No, no Loris he- is the knight of oh. flowers. Oh, that's dumb. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I wanted it, because then wouldn't that be cute if it was like rose and flowers? But no, you're right. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> you made something up in your head and you were like, oh, it does it exist? I don't like that. <laughs> well, I, I'm allowed to not like reality. Like, <laughs> Okay, <laughs> fair point. Fair point. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, joust. Sorry, that was really loud. That was, oh, that was the word right. that I couldn't remember. <laughs> yes, they're little joust. Oh, I'm so glad that came back to me. <laughs> anyway, okay. <laughs> that was so loud and so unnecessary. <laughs> no, it was very necessary. <laughs> Oh my god. Um, yeah, and okay, so they're Tyrion's trying to defend Loras, and like, oh, Loras is like a cool warrior, and he fought in the Blackwater beside Renly's ghost, and everybody who saw him was like, he's great. And over it, it's like, oh, you mean the people that saw the ghost saw him be great? <laughs> yes, I would totally trust their judgment. <laughs> Which, may I remind you, we still don't know what that's about. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> I don't know. I think last time you were like, somebody's wearing his armor or something. Okay, I think I had two things. I was like, oh, somebody's like wearing his armor, blah, blah, blah. Or it's just like, it was just like morale building and like, hey, join our side. It's Renly's side. What? You saw Renly? Oh, oh, yeah, that's totally what I meant. Oh, like like it was just a misunderstanding. Yeah. Yeah. Or it's okay. just like people being like, oh, I totally saw Lord, I totally saw Renly. Let's go fight. Like, you know, it's just like a little like, ju- it's just like a little martyr for them to like unite behind. Rally behind. Yeah. Okay. Well, Tyrion's like, you're going to get in some shit. Here's a recommendation mm-hmm. for a couple sex workers of your yeah. liking. And you might want to keep them beside you at all times because you said you want to die with a breast in hand and you're definitely going to die in the city. <laughs> <laughs> based on what y'all what your whole what y'all vibe is yeah table, exactly like. uh, and Tyrion's like oh I wish I didn't have to deal with this guy and instead they should have said Joffrey and I'm looking forward to <laughs> when Joffrey mm-hmm. meets this guy because that will be Please. a fun interaction That's okay like I didn't understand I, I know it's not important but I just it was nagging at me so Joffrey's little like jokes about so are the Dornish like really tall like I don't uh, understand well he's getting these jokes from the Tyrells who hate the Dornish so it, they don't yeah, make like, sense I there, don't think yeah but I don't know I just feel like if you're gonna like try to roast someone like at least you be know, accurate like, <laughs> or like yeah like be clever and like just like uh, something I don't think it, it just didn't make sense and I just and my brain hyper fixated and I was like I don't know what this means <laughs> It means absolutely nothing. Only that Joffrey okay. is not clever and okay. he okay. can't roast people. <laughs> true. True, true. Okay. That's okay. All right. So predictions? Yes. Okay. Uh, is the Red Wiper going to die because <laughs> of all the shit he's starting? <laughs> or will <laughs> inevitably start? I don't think... Red Viper's gonna die here. Um, will he get his justice? Ooh, I think so. So he's gonna kill the mountain and 
Tywin? No, no. <laughs> Let me explain. Please do. Okay. I don't think he'll get the justice that he wants, but I think there will be like a public like, oh, this is, you know, what actually happened. Like, I feel like, like. <sighs> but will he mountain, accept that? Like, I'm not saying will he get justice in the eyes of the public. I'm saying will he get his justice? He will not get his justice. And I don't think he'll be happy with that. And I know he's like all like malicious and like, rah, 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 you know, like he's just kind of. He's like, I'm going to do this. And then he, like, actually does. However, I just feel like, even though, like, he's the one in charge. Oh, wait. I forget he's on the council, though. He is on the council now. But the rest of the council are just pawns. They are. So maybe so Tywin will finally council. have some <laughs> opposition. Yeah, but, like, one person, okay, what's he gonna do, you know? And he, he he doesn't exactly seem the type to fight with words, you know? So, I don't think he's gonna be at the council and be like, you know what I think we should do? So, I... I think that he will be very unhappy with what happens, and then he will, like, rage out, and then they'll be like, we are putting you in a cell because you are a danger to our society right now okay so he's gonna be captured because he's gonna start shit i like i just i don't see them killing him right they can't afford to offend Dorne. yeah especially since like they got marcella like not only because yeah. they need allies but also because they got marcella yeah, like, I just, but then at the same time, it's like, you can't just keep letting the Viper do what he wants just because, you know, it's important I kinda for I kind of want them to, to let the Viper do what he wants. I, I do, but they wouldn't, right? Yeah. So maybe, like, maybe they, like, because, what, okay, what, what, do, what does the Viper care about? We know he, like, really loved Elia, obviously, mm -hmm. and we know that he's, like, you know, my house, like, our house, and, like, we're, you know, the Martells, but, like, is that... Like, do we know, like, does he have kids? Does he have a wife? Like, does he, has he have other priorities? Well, we heard about all the daughters he has, but they're all... Oh, yes. All bastard-born. Oh, yeah. oh, my God. We literally covered this. <laughs> yeah. We just covered this I don't think ago. he's married. I don't think okay. so. He does have his paramour, Ilaria. Right. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, and he just has a bunch of daughters. So maybe they can... So maybe they might be, like keep yourself in line or else we'll kill your paramour or we'll do like, do you know what I mean? They might have to blackmail him in some other way, but then at the same time, it's like, is he going to take that? But he might have to just for the sake of what's going on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, but I, okay. So I think that that's kind of very vague and I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I also think that I think that he's going to do, he's going to start shit during like the wedding like during no. the feast and like, like he's the, gonna wait you know until I mean? the... yeah it'll be like a public like a whole dramatic thing and how will the the tyrells react to him oh they'll fucking start fighting not even like at the wedding but just like his presence oh they're gonna hate it they're gonna be like can we get him to stay somewhere else like can he stay in a especially because like, like like a couple of tyrells are now also on the council so they're like <laughs> yeah no i i'm excited for the issues that are gonna come up here yeah uh where will ilaria sit during the wedding <laughs> I, I actually i can't remember what they decide on but i am curious to see like what kind of compromise they come up with because they can't offend nobody, you know? Yeah, they might, like... Or maybe Cersei will just have to deal, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, I'm just curious. That, like, it doesn't... Yeah. It's not... Don't, you don't have to I make a real I don't know. I'm sure if I... Yeah, I don't know. Um, Could they do, like, a thing where, like... I, okay, if, if they do this, this would probably upset more people, but it would be a compromise. If they did, like, because you know how it's, like, oh, like, at, like, the, like, in, in like, the special spots, it's, like, like, the people on the council, like, the families of both sides, whatever, and, like, mm -hmm. all of that, but could they do, like, a thing where it's, like, where, like, I don't think this Like, a work. second tier? 
Yeah, like a second tier slash like, oh, like spouses slash significant others are on a lower tier than the person directly related. Yeah, but all the spouses are going to be like, we're actually married and yeah, we yeah, ain't yeah. taking this shit. No, I know, but it would be a compromise. Just then everyone else would be unhappy. <laughs> yeah. So. Well, I look forward to unhappy people around the Lannisters. <laughs> Definitely. Um. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We've got. I think that's it. Okay, let's move yeah. on to Ah, yeah. Okay, Arya. There's a battle. They sneak up on the mummers that have taken over over a septry, which I feel like is a like a monastery. <laughs> like, yeah, okay, just the word sept instead of monness. <laughs> oh uh, I don't know. My brain went down like a weird path, and I had to like really reel it back. Okay, so uh, there's yeah. a battle. Fight! 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 Fle- Arya yeah. is like kept flame to the and arrows burn smoke. Yeah, shit. They've got Arya and like Gendry held back, which she's yeah. not happy about, but she knows better than to try and argue because this is battle, and in battle you had to obey. Which no. I'm like, oh my god, I didn't realize I could love Arya more, but I do. <laughs> like mm-hmm. every time she says something so wise beyond her years, which makes me extra sad for her too, because that she has to be yeah. wise beyond her years. But like, yeah. Anyway. She knows, you know? She knows, she knows. Yeah. This is where Kyle dies. <laughs> I don't know why yeah. I remember Kyle. And she's um, people are uh, watching Ned the Squire fight, and she's like, he's Aww. not that much older than me. If they are, he's fighting. I should have fought too. But like like Aww. I said, she's not going to like argue. Yeah, um, yeah. And she's watching all the archers, and she's like, oh my god, they can hit people from far away. This bow mm-hmm. and arrow thing might be useful. I should learn that. <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, so we get Septon Septon Ut, who we uh, before, heard about before that. What, one quick second. Um, at the end of the battle, only two of the Dothraki managed to run away, but Thoros lets them, or no, Beric lets them go purposely so that they can, you know, spread messages of like the terror of the Brotherhood, <laughs> and nah. it's good yeah. for PR, you know. <laughs> uh, and then oh they bring God. out Septonut, who's been hiding out. And this guy mm. is just scum of the earth. Yeah. Uh I don't even imagine wanna... going imagine going through all of the training to become a Septon and be like, you're gonna heal people, you're gonna make people's lives. Yeah, a- that and totally then... doesn't happen in real life at all. There's definitely not scandals behind ah. you know, religious authority figures abusing their powers that's not a thing at all (laughs) oh my god go cults yeah (laughs) (laughs) yeah it yeah no this was really unfortunate but you know he got hung so hanged or hanged (laughs) he got hanged but oh i I totally didn't say his name i totally forgot about septonut you did oh like during the during the who died in these chapters oh yeah whatever he doesn't deserve to be remembered. Uh-huh. Um, anyway, he is a rapist and a murderer, and he gets off on then begging for mercy for his sins and mm-hmm. all of that. Yeah. And it's gross, and I want no more of it. Yeah. Moving on. And then a bunch of the other people who were captured, like, they were, you know, telling, they were, like, confessing to everything that the brave companions had done, blah, blah, blah. And then, yeah, they get like witnesses to like as like a trial, you know, yeah, witnesses yeah. against them, and they're like, "Okay, you're guilty." Hanging all of you, exactly. <laughs> Here's a mummer tree. Happy birthday! <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Um, and then we find out that they had actually let Clegane go after you know seeing mm-hmm. to his burned arm. Yeah, which comes up again, and but... they give him his sword <laughs> and his horse and his armor, yeah. and set him free like a few miles from the like the hollow hill but they do take his gold because the lord of light saved his life not his gold (laughs) (laughs) and you know this comes up a little bit like they're like oh we need that gold though like we've got people to feed and yeah arm and stuff yeah we can't just you know like if we show up and we can't even give them anything like yeah we're kind of useless so they're staying in the set Septri, septri, 
like in the village overnight and um, Thor starts praying but then one of like the brothers who is part of the septry is like uh don't pray to another god under our roof that's not cool and they're like you know what that's fine yeah we're like it's your roof your rules yeah the sun this will was, not like this the- was weirdly respectful yeah because i, I was I, like we talked I feel about like Mel- this i think where we were like oh are they like enforcing their religion on people or are mm. they just like we think this is cool but you don't have to yeah and this it's, is this is the right way to do religion, people. Just saying. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this is not giving Melisandre, and I like it. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I, She's Melisandre would right. never. She'd be like, I will sleep outside. Rilara will protect me. <laughs> Even yeah. though the night is dark and full of terrors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah. She's like, I got them special powers. Hers is like, yeah, yeah, the sun's not gonna like cease to shine if I miss a prayer or two. Like, it's mm-hmm. cool. Yeah. The Lord knows I'm cool. We're cool. Nah. Yeah. And Arya, okay, this was interesting. Arya points out that Lord Beric, she's never seen him eat, and he just kind of closes his eye, eye, and he mm-hmm. doesn't really sleep. Yeah. And he like takes a sip of like wine from time to time. But right. I imagine that's just like kind of like greasing his gears as opposed to like yeah sustenance i don't think that's anything. really a digestive it's not really I feel yeah like it comes out right and away. Arya's like scared of him and he's like oh are you scared of me and she's like yeah uh, no but like you yeah. died and here you are though yeah yeah, yeah. and, and lem's like no it was just a wound like soros healed it it's fine uh, uh apparently lem like actually thinks that question mark because Beric is like yeah. oh some people would rather blind themselves when they're afraid to see what's actually going on yeah that was a nice quote even brave men blind themselves sometimes when they are afraid to see yeah I was like damn bro but yeah so that's inter- that's an interesting character yeah. trait about Lem where he's like oh, whatever this isn't but, real what yeah but Beric is very real with Arya he's like yeah, yeah. I've been brought back how many times Thoros <laughs> six, six. <laughs> yeah yeah oh my um, god and Thoros and- tries to be like oh uh, it's not me who brings you back it's the Lord of Light I'm only oh his my instrument god. <laughs> please calm down <laughs> which is some like credit. the most like oh, like extra he's been <laughs> <laughs> like uh-huh. he's kind of casual about his religion, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but this he's yeah. like a little much here. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. And he's like, oh, like a seventh death might mean the end of both of us. So I'm like, damn. So it's second power from like yeah, because Thoros doing it looks too. real thin and old too. Yeah, which is so I don't yeah. know. I guess this is that seventh life. <laughs> yeah, and he's like all those smart commanders like Tywin and Stannis command from the rear, whereas you just like go up front in the vanguard and are right in the middle of it. You should hang back and like save yourself a little. And Beric's like, what would I save myself for? I don't even remember who I used to be. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, he's like, I'm I used to have a castle on the marches and I was pledged to marry someone, but I couldn't tell you where the castle is or what the color of that person's hair is. Like, uh, things every time, like, it just fades more and more. So, yeah. Yeah. This is, it's like a little nice speech there, but it's really sad. (laughs) I know. And then it, and then it kind of gets worse because then Arya's like, can you bring back a man without a head? But just w- even just once. One time. I don't even need it to be six times. Oh, I can't. <sighs> this broke my heart so many times. This is so painful. Uh, oh, my God. Yeah. I, I can't. Arya's chapters are me just putting, you know, the frown face where you do like, um, you do a line and a line and, and a then frown. you do like. Yeah. A little frown. I, that, I, the amount of times I put that in this chapter was just really sad. I know. I know. I know. Uh, Yeah. But anyway, moving on from the dread. Yeah. So um, Thoros recounts kind of like how he discovered this new power. Um, mm -hmm. Beric had died the first time around. And Mm -hmm. Thoros was like, oh, we used to have this ritual, like, 
back in the, you know, red temple. <laughs> I was like, where do priests go? Temple. Yes. Um, and it's just like, you got to give him the kiss of fire or something. And he just yeah. like performs this ritual. And like he's done a couple times before. And usually nothing happens. But this mm-hmm. time around... Barrick like actually like breathed in and woke up and it was like <gasps> what whoa yeah and he thinks that the reason Barrick keeps coming back is because Relor is not done with him yet and then Ooh. he says the same thing later about the hound which uh, which is interesting <laughs> mm-hmm. maybe and that's like, just like how... the standard thing they say but like what, what would is... Relor want from the hound what do you think yeah what is the hound doing like what's his purpose I don't know. Like, Barrick seems to have a purpose of, like, helping all these common folk, yeah. right? The Hound is cur- literally purposeless right now. <laughs> yeah. I think... I'm not sure what he's gonna do. Maybe he'll... I don't know. What does <laughs> Relore want dumb, from the Hound? This is, a, this is a dumb prediction, but may, maybe he'll, S- you know... Silly prediction, yes. Yeah, but maybe <laughs> he'll, um, like, because you know how at the end, then they're like, we're not giving you your money, we don't have your money. And then maybe he'll get so desperate that he'll just join them and start helping them. <laughs> maybe. I mean, he's got to go somewhere. <laughs> yeah, and that's kind of his only, yeah. I don't know, because, yeah. That's, It'd be that's nice to, like, have you. him fighting on their side because they're, like, explicitly against his brother's side, you know? And he also hates his brother, yeah. so. Yeah. It would be a nice little partnership. Yeah. Um, yeah, and Beric yeah, like is Beric's- like, yeah, sorry, your dad's, we can't do that for your dad. He was a good man and all, and I would, like, totally not charge a ransom for you, but we need money. Yeah, and Arya's I ain't doing like, it for myself, bro. Yeah, and Arya's like, you know what? I get it. Yeah, I see y'all mm-hmm. out here. I know you need money. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. But okay, this again. Yeah, this sad. her whole thing with like Rob's not gonna want me because he's a king, and I like you know he's not. Yeah, really and I'm my brother dirty anymore. Dirty and messy, and yeah. my mom doesn't like that, so she won't want me because of that. And yeah, I'm like, and I've done all these terrible things, and I've killed people, and no one love, no one's gonna love me, and everyone always leaves me, and this yeah. really hit. This really hit. I was like, girl, please stop. And she like, says like. Cry. Um, I don't sew so good and then she corrects herself I don't sew very well oh. and it, it's like uh, she's kind of losing the like highborn taught all the grammar kind of thing in her yeah. and yeah. not that like it it's like really Matters. a thing but but it's yeah. like a part of her identity also kind of like leaving yeah. her yeah totally um yeah it was really sad yeah but, but then, yeah, like, Beric Thoros is like, is like, bro, don't worry. Like, don't, your, yeah. your brother's gonna. Like, you're good. And then she's like, but what if he won't? And then Beric's like, okay, well, then I'll send you to Lady Smallwood or I'll send you to my, like, own castle. And I was like, that's so sweet. Yeah, but I don't think I'll have to. I'll, I can't bring back your father, but I can oh. at least ensure that you return to your mother's arms. So if only if only anyone in this world could ever guarantee something, you know, I think I I don't know. I like this is this is one of those things where it's like it's such a good life lesson where it's like you can't hold people accountable to their words because it's like you can only mean what you say. No, 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 like like let me explain. Like you can only mean like, yes, accountability and like people should fucking keep their word. However, like it's like people only mean what they say in that moment sometimes. And it's like, he means it, but it's like, can he really guarantee that? Like, I feel like he shouldn't have... I get that, like, he needs to, like, comfort her and, like, you know, like, what's a little white lie? But it's like, he can't guarantee that. I just don't think he should have said it. But that's just me. Well, he doesn't say, I promise. He's just like, I'll see to it, you know? Oh, no. But then he says... I he swear literally on my swears honor on as a knight. On his sorry. honor as a knight, bro. Okay, you're right. I'm sorry. Hey, no, it's okay. Who, who knows? Maybe because he's like immortal or shit. Like he's <laughs> the only one who can actually keep this promise. Yeah, but he doesn't know that. 
okay, whatever. So <laughs> for now, yeah. it reassures Arya, and I'm okay with that. You know, I'm not. But okay. yeah. Anyway, it starts raining, and um, what's his name? How many times have we heard "Rains of Castamere now? Well, That's it's a question. rain-related song, so <laughs> <laughs> so Thomas Evanston's got to sing it. Oh my god! Uh, do I I, I do kind of love that they don't discriminate on songs based on like who's like because this is all like Lannister. This is basically oh, Lannister yeah, yeah. anthem. I'm glad right, they sing right. it just because it's about the rain, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. True, true. <laughs> yeah. Um, we're gonna hear it many more times. It's oh my George god. R. R. Martin was like, I wrote so many verses. What am I gonna do with them? I'm gonna recycle uh-huh. them. <laughs> true, true, true. That's so um, funny. Yeah, but finally, yeah. Tom runs out of rain songs and puts away <laughs> his harp. And, and just uh, chilling. And Gendry's yeah. like, hey, guys, I could totally be your smith if you just, like, you know, give me the bare minimum and, like, I can totally do it. And they're like, are you, like, why would you do that? Like, this is not a Yeah, go be in not- a castle somewhere. And he's like, castle yeah. people stink. You actually yeah. help other people. Oh, and I like sweet. that. <laughs> yeah. This was sweet. I was like, oh. Yeah, and Beric, uh, Beric's like the one that's like, you sure about this? But everybody else is like, just take him up on the offer. We could really use a smith. <laughs> He's like, don't think about his benefit. Think about everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Uh, but it's giving it's giving John when he initially wanted to join the Night's Watch, and Ned was like sending him was to the it, Night's no, not Watch. Ned. Benjen was like, Benjen was sure like, buddy, what are you doing? And he was yeah, like, you're no, a baby. It's honorable. And blah 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 blah, and then but then they were like, okay, well this is, it's war, do it, you know. Well, it wasn't war yet, but like you know what I mean. They were like, I was like, we gotta get rid of you somehow, so go do this. (laughs) Exactly, yeah. Um, Yeah, But yeah, he's Sir Gendry now. Yeah, Beric knights him, Mm -hmm. and uh, as he's been knighted, (laughs) this is perfect timing. The hound bursts in. And he's oh like, God. oh, you, now you're knighting everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, he's like, why don't you? What did he say? He was like, why don't you knight? Making more knights in Darien. I watched. I ought to kill you all over for that. And then <laughs> and then he's like, why don't you knight my horse? It's better than yeah. this person. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't. The hound is entertaining yeah the worst of ways. and they're like what the fuck are you doing here what happened to our guards and he's like well maybe i killed him <laughs> <laughs> and i'm oh here God. because you took my gold and i want a drink and i don't have money to buy wa- wine so oh my god he's like yeah but bro i gave you an iou like <laughs> literally <laughs> though like... it's literally an iou <laughs> like yeah. <laughs> I gave you a note for your gold. I promise to pay when the war's done. And that was like I used that paper as toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, my audio. I can't. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, and they're like, oh, we don't have the money anymore. We gave it to buy food for people. And he's like, that's exactly what I wanted to do with it. So let's just let me do it. Yeah. <laughs> Earn that good karma. Or uh-huh. got him, which is the actual pronunciation. Just saying. Okay, moving on. Um, do, do, do. Okay, so like he won the hands tourney. Yes, yes. So like oh. we knew this, but like you had forgotten, and I didn't bring it up last time because it comes up in this book, uh, this oh, chapter. This chapter. Okay. Um, but, but I think okay. Leah did. It was Leah in the Discord who was like. We know, wink, wink. <laughs> okay, but my question is, I'm pro- I'm totally remembering this wrong, but wasn't there, like, during that tourney, in that final face-off, I don't know why, but in my mind, it was, like, Loris and Gregor, right? Or was it, like, the hand stepped in to save Loris? I'm, like, forgetting the details. It was like- uh, Gregor Clegane and Loris, and Gregor um, Loris did this thing where he set off the mountain's horse, so the mountain fell and like his ho- oh, and then yeah. he killed his horse and then he went after yeah. Loris like in a rage and the hound stepped in oh, and so stopped hound. him and like Robert had to be like in the name of the king stop whatever you're doing and then the mountain like storms off and Loris and then like 
Loris is like the winner by default. Yeah. But then he's like, because you saved my life, you're the real winner. So he. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because I was like, I swear to God, he was not part of that. But then I, I did vaguely remember him stepping in. But I was like, I don't know if I'm making that up. Like, I yeah, he. St- I don't think he like does turn. He is really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. But yeah, that's wow, what happened. How, how convenient. And then he got the money. <laughs> yeah, he won the money. And Angai was the yeah. archer who won the archers contest by the way yeah, that's, we love Anga. <laughs> um but he spent all his money just like having fun which is totally fair go off king yeah, yeah. like he had his fun and then there was a war like i'm i'm yeah. glad he got to spend that yeah. money you know oh yeah and uh, especially with like because he like you know the hound at the time especially being like joffrey's right hand man like he could just he can just go do whatever you want for free. Where is he going to spend the money anyway? True. You know? Um. Yeah, but and if you remember, like, Ned planning the attorney was like, this is way too much fucking money. Yeah. So it was a lot of money that the Hound won, but... Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, like, yeah. this was also kind of sad. They were like, yeah, like, he can't go anywhere. The gold's all he has left. So, of course, he's back for it, you know? Mm-hmm. And yeah, but he, like, leaves it at gum because they're not, like, giving him what he wants. So he yeah. just leaves. And they're all like, oh, my God, he left, but he could totally come back and kill us all. Oh. And Beric's like, he would kill us, but not in our sleep. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're good for okay now. for now. Yeah, as long as we're sleeping, we're fine. But anybody yeah. wakes up to pee or shit, that's not good. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. Um... Yeah, and he tells Angai to, like, when they're on the march the next day, keep an eye out for the hound. And if he shows up to kill his horse, because then he can't follow them. But he won't let them kill Clegane because he won his life and I will yeah. not rob him of it. Even though if I if I kill him his horse, then he has literally nothing left and then yeah. he will definitely die just of exposure and war and shit yeah but yeah that's i'm Wait, not responsible i'm not for responsible that. for that <laughs> yeah lord, lord of light can keep him alive just with exactly. vibes you know who needs food or yeah. water or sleep we just need vibes <laughs> yeah and this is when yeah. thoris is like uh the lord of light is not yet done with joffrey's hound it would seem so mm-hmm. yeah yeah maybe barrack's got a purpose maybe the hound's got a purpose yeah and then Arya's sad because she's yeah. like, Everyone everybody leaves, leaves me. me. And now Gendry's leaving me. And he's a l- quite literally the only person who I'd had from the journey. And like, fuck you, Gendry. <sighs> and then Gendry is like, hey, bro, like, I'm sorry. And then she's like, I don't fucking care. You could have, you know, you could have been at River Run, but whatever. And, but she doesn't say it because she's like, fuck you. Like, yeah. Live your life. And I was like, is this going to be your final interaction? Like, just fuck you. Well, like, they're come still on. on the go. Like, know, she still has like, a long way to go to River Run. So, I know, but I don't know. It's just sad. Yeah, but it's the rain sad. stops and they make good time towards River Run, so that's good. I, no, no, I don't care. <laughs> okay, it's sad. <laughs> it is sad. Okay, predictions. Also, the she ha- hears. Oh, oh sorry. Go ahead. Oh she yeah, that's just kind of like a constant. <laughs> I know it is but though. I like it. I like it when it comes up. Yeah, I, it's probably Nymeria among them somewhere. Yeah. Um. Prediction. Yeah, the Hound. What's he gonna do? Okay, I think that the Hound is gonna be like, "Hey, bros, just let me join you." Come okay. On, bros. He's gonna join them, and they will let him. Yes. But it'll be still like you know they won't love him. He won't yeah, love yeah. them. But yeah, they'll yeah. be like bros. He'll be on. He'll be on watch. You yeah. Know? Okay. They'll utilize his specific skills in murdering. Yeah, and I because th- I think it'll also be like because I think it would also be like like I don't know. I just I think part of the reason why I want it to happen is because you know Arya and Sansa are very hateful to like. It would just be nice to be like hey. Sansa's is a lot. Like it, it would just be a nice right. Little he could catch them up a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Are they gonna make it to River Run anytime soon? They're certainly gonna try. So no. I think I think they like. There's just because you know they're very much like yes. We're gonna 
make it to River Run and, like, get you to rob. But they're still, like, that's not their main purpose. Like, that's their side mission, you know? So I think the biggest, so I think, like, the biggest thing is, like, like, if They might stuff get sidetracked. Like, if there's stuff happening along the way, they're not gonna go past it. So I think it'll still take a bit. Okay, fair enough. Will Beric die, die. more? <laughs> yeah. I think die know, again, it, die for real, like I any feel of those? like I feel like it's giving real death this time. Ooh, so His, seventh time's the charm? Yeah. Or the unlucky charm, yeah. <laughs> well, he seems like he wants to kind of die now, so maybe it is. <sighs> You know? Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. I, yeah, hopefully. Can't be fun being revived that many times. Oh, definitely not. Especially if you're like losing yourself every time. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I think that's everything, honestly. Bran. So too. Okay. So they come upon this village in the new gift, which is different from Brandon's gift. (laughs) Yes. As Bran has told us. (laughs) Yeah. Let me just give you like a quick rundown. So when the Night's Watch was formed, Brandon the Builder or one of the Brandon Starks of some time (laughs) gifted them 50 leagues below the wall to just like flourish, you know, thrive. Mm Um, and then the good, good queen Elison came around and she was like, oh, y'all are doing good work. Here's 50 and other leagues, which I'm like, did the Starks just be like, oh yeah, that's cool. Take the extra 50 leagues all across our land. Oh my God. <laughs> but she's queen. So who cares? Uh-huh. Um, yes. So that's the new gift. And that's where this village is that they have come upon. And it's got, like, some little, like, huts and an inn that's all broken down. And there's apple trees growing everywhere. But all the apples are rotten and nothing's worth, like, actually edible anymore. And then there's, like, an island. There's a lake and an island in the middle of the lake. And in that island, there's a tower. And apparently Queen Elisan stayed in this tower because it has, like, a little crown in her honor. And Bran remembers this place from Old Nan's stories and remembers Aww. there's a causeway from yeah. the like to the place and he's like we can totally get there and you know you know what bran would be really good at qua trivia oh yeah cuz of all of old nan's just yeah not. and old all... nan would be good at trivia oh yeah 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 they but could, she would be would like be let me team. tell you the answer and then also tell you the story <laughs> behind the answer true 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 yeah <laughs> Uh, I miss old Nan. I do too. I hope she's okay because apparently when the Bastard of the Dreadfort saved everybody at Winterfell, uh-huh. he took all the women and children with him. Right. Yes. Mm. So the part of that is well. maybe a lie, but maybe the rest is not. Hopefully. I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. I just want her to be alive. So I know. Me too. Yeah, I think she's going to, like, outlive everybody in this story. <laughs> like, True. book seven, like, epilogue, <laughs> everybody is dead. The, like, whites have taken over. Everybody's a white. And then old oh man just God. emerges and is like, I'm basically a white anyway, so you don't need to bite me. It's fine. <laughs> Stop. That's so funny. <laughs> For the final chapter of the entire series, we get, like, old man just being like, you know, I heard a story once. <laughs> and that's like the final sentence of the... Yeah. Oh, that would be... Uh, so have fun. you heard the Song of Ice and Fire? Let me tell <gasps> it to you. Oh, that would be... Th- literally, George R. R. Martin, take notes. That would be the perfect... <laughs> if this was a whole You want song- everybody to die and just old men no, to be left no, telling this... I'm- hey, I think that that's where we're headed anyway. <laughs> so... If if we're getting all of that, you know, bloodshed anyway, I may as well end with, like, one happy thought, you know? Fair enough. Okay, yeah. so back to this place that they're at. They're like, so Brad and, no, Jojen and Mira are confused as to why it's empty because it's got, like, it's it's a good place to live. Yeah. And Brad's like, well, the, the free folk come down and raid here, so people don't like living here. They've moved down south or more south than here. <laughs> um, yeah, beautiful. And, uh, yeah, so they find the causeway and it, like, zigzags through the lake and it's this clever little thing and I'm really, like, it's cool. And they make it to the tower. Uh, The door is, like, halfway open and it's all, like, warped, but they get in. And then there's, like, a door going up and a door going down, but they can't get those open. But Bran notices this murder hole right above him. (gasps) Yeah. 
and he just pulls on the grates and uh, they fall down and he hits his head for like the second time in this chapter. This kid is having so many head injuries. Oh. He's going to have like an actual third eye by the time he oh finishes the series. And that's probably what that's probably what the third <laughs> eye is. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. It's, anyway, it's not good. But mm-hmm. they get the murder hole open. They climb up through it, and it's this nice little tower. And they explore other rooms. It's like empty, but like you know, shelter. So mm-hmm. that's good. And a yeah. storm's coming, so that's good too. Yay. No, it's good. It's extra good that they found shelter before the storm. That's what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Ah, <sighs> words hard sometimes, all the time, every time. Um. And they make it to yeah. the roof. And they're still, like, talking about, you know, going up to the wall. And they're like, we got to get past the wall. How are we going to do that? Yeah. And Bran wants to go to Castle Black. But everybody's like, no. any Like, it'll take one out of any of those people to rat you out. And then you're going to be dead. Yeah. And uh, we don't want that. And even if they don't betray you, they might not let you pass and might, like, hold yeah. you there or make you return or something. So, exactly, we're not going to go to Castle Black. Instead, they want to go to one of the abandoned castles and, like, try to find a way through there. Ooh. Yeah. Um, even though, like, the entrances at all the abandoned castles are closed off, so I don't know how they're going to do that, but... We're just going to... With vibes. We're just going to yeah. move all the eggs with vibes. <laughs> Maybe they'll fly over the wall. Who knows? Oh, yes. Yeah. So they're up there and they see like a rider come through and the rider like puts like huddles up in the little broken down inn and lights a fire. Mm-hmm. And then in a little bit, like, a whole bunch of other people come around and they can't tell if they're Night's Watch, but they're like, if they were Night's Watch, they would be like mounted. Um, but they can't tell what colors or what they're wearing. Yeah. What do you think about these people? <sighs> it's giving wildlings. Like, who's the rider? Okay. So which one's the, like, the riders, the wildlings, or the people after that come after a wildlings? I mean, they're all kind of together, right? They come separately and at the end when bran goes into summer he sees one of the men is like blindfolded oh right yeah so um yeah i feel i don't like... i don't know what's going on but maybe you have an idea yeah okay i had two thoughts um one i was like okay like it's giving It's giving wildlings, because we know that they like to hang around, you know, all of that. But then, second thing, and, like, also with, um, because I know, like, I know Mance Raider sent, like, John's people to that place, but there must be other missions. Like, are they really relying on that that one mission to do all the wall stuff? Like, do you know what I mean? Well, I I don't know if they're doing... I don't know what you mean by all the wall stuff. But, like, they're the only ones going to the wall right now? Like, we have we have hundreds they, well, of thousands of people and that's the y- only group we're sending? No. The hundreds of thousands of people are making their way to the wall, but because there's so many of them, they're slow. So Mance Raider sent, like, a group ahead to get over the yeah. wall and get them leverage. Yeah, but I feel like we could do that with multiple groups and not just have one. Maybe, okay, but, like, that was the group that came first. <laughs> okay, fine. So it's not wildlings. Like, okay, then wait, I was is like... Wait, what do you mean it's not wildlings? I don't know what you mean. Like, why can't it be those wildlings that came out over the wall? Because we saw John literally climb the wall. It could be... Okay, fine. I, like, I don't could know what be. you're getting yet. I'm not getting at anything. I'm just giving you my multiple thoughts. So that okay. was one of my thoughts. I just, I don't have any confidence in any of my thoughts. That's why I keep being like, okay, it can't be that. So okay, that was so one of my theories, right? One of your my theories is theories. that it's wildlings and maybe the wildling gr- group that we're familiar with or different wildlings. Yeah. Okay, the familiar with. Yeah. Okay, cool. I think the, the only thing that makes me think, I think, okay, because... Obviously, logically, it makes more most the most sense to, for it to be the group that we're familiar with. But I think the reason I was like, that wasn't my first thought was because I feel like 
with George R. Martin's writing, like, we would have, we would have, like, right at the end of the chapter, like, with the summer stuff, like, I feel like we would have gotten, like, a glimpse of John, or, like, so, like there would have been some indication, some spicy indication that it is the group that we're familiar with. Okay, yeah. So it that was the only thing that was to be wildlings because they had to cross over the wall and they couldn't bring their horses. So yeah. that's why they're, like, on foot. So that part would make sense. But it yeah. could be a different group of wildlings. You're right. Yeah. Um, so it could be that. And then my other thought was, like, because, you know, we're still not at the wall yet. So it could be just, mm-hmm. like, northern people. And you, you know how there's, like, you know, because, like, 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 for example, Rob was gone. So now Bran's in charge of Winterfell, right? And, like, Mm -hmm. Bran doesn't know what he's doing because this war came out of nowhere. Like, Bran was not trained and also he's a child. So maybe there's, like, more just, like, chaos going on and it's just, like, a group of, like, umbers or something where it's, like, just, like, people who are nearby and, like, there's, like, a prisoner and they're, like... They're just chaosing around. They're just chaosing. But then, like, I don't know, why would you bring the prisoner out all the way here to do the chaos? Like, do you know what I mean? Why are you being so sly about it? So, Well, they, the prisoner, I like, I don't know. I, I don't know which one's a prisoner. But the guy that came on the horse came before they them. Yeah. Like, he wasn't... So, that's the guy in charge and then the rest are on foot and that's why they're slow. He was like, I'll go scope out a place to rest. Yeah, or maybe they were following him. Okay, okay, we're getting too caught up. So there's maybe wildlings involved. There's maybe other people involved. There's yeah. people. Um, the point is there's people outside and it's storming and Hodor is freaking out. And he's like, oh, like Hodor, 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 really loud around the tower and it oh echoes, you know. Oh, uh, yeah. And they're trying to quiet him and soothe him, but he he won't, like, he he's too upset yeah. And then Bran reaches for him, like he's trying to reach for his legs, but then he reaches for him, like, the way he reaches for Summer and tells him yeah. to be quiet. And Hodor just, like, stops, closes his mouth, sits down, and just, like, starts rocking himself to, like, self-soothe, yeah. kind of. Yeah. And Mir's Whoa. like, what the fuck just happened? And Whoa. Bran's like, um, I don't know... But he does know, and he realizes that he did what he does with Summer, and he had been Hodor for half a heartbeat. And what? He's scared. <laughs> so we have surpassed warging. Like, like what? What? So, okay, so you can just. What? Like, is it? Okay, because then we were, you know how we were like, oh, it works with Summer because there's that connection. There's that, you know, Mm -hmm. it was like given to them by the gods, blah, blah, blah. So is it like, you know, he spent so much time with Hodor. There's like this connection there, but he's not particularly close to Hodor. You know what I mean? mean? He's literally on his back all day. No, (laughs) I mean like emotionally, like he's not like Hodor, I'm sad. They are trauma bonded. I don't know what you're talking about. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah but like it's it's different like he's not like i don't know we just don't ever see this him, isn't like, like a divine wolf found <laughs> yeah like it's just yeah so i don't know it's this is very interesting but so i guess bran is just magical we've definitely left the warning so he can i don't know if we've heard of people now do you think he can control that i think he can learn to control it and that's probably part should of the third he that's a that's a little I don't know if he should. Consent wise. I don't know if he should, but he definitely will. Okay. (laughs) Do you know Bran? Like. Right. Um, But it does get Hodor to quiet down, thus saving their lives in this one instant. I don't know how I feel about this, but it's a thing. It's a development. Yeah. I mean, it's useful for it's useful for enemies. Yeah. As long as, yeah, as long as he's not out here, like, just using it for no reason, I feel like it's fine. Yeah, so anyway, they, like, cuddle down and they're just like, okay, we'll get through the night and hopefully they will leave in the morning before we have to leave because they will very likely find the causeway in the morning if they try to. Ugh. So they're just going to huddle up and Bran just kind of, like, drifts off and then into summer and he's, you know, prowling the area and he sees all the people. And then he sees uh, a man with a stick 
blundered by, a skin pulled up over his head to make him blind and deaf. Oh. So, yeah. Not sure what that means, but seems like somebody's, like, blindfolded or, you know, like, Just got a bag of... over their head. Yeah. And then he smells... Uh, what is it? The red stench of fear. So now, usually when I think of, like, the stench of fear, it's, like, probably, like, somebody peed their pants, you know? Yeah. But red stench makes me be like, did somebody get stabbed or something, you know? Yeah. So, I'm, yeah, this is not a very, like, clear chapter. I'm confused as to what's happening. Yeah, me too. I could hear them talking in there beneath the scents of random leaves and horse came the sharp red stench of fear I do not know bestie yeah I don't either so okay um predictions will they be discovered in that tower oh yeah okay will that go well for them or badly like are these people we want them to find or not these are not people we like so it'll go badly. It will go badly. There will be some captures. They'll have to escape before they die. You know, all that fun okay. stuff. All right. At least there's some action upcoming, hopefully. I don't know. Yeah. Uh. Okay. So there's that. And then we already talked about who the people could be. Let's not like dwell yeah. on that. Um. I think that's literally everything in this. Like, and you already said that he'll probably try more to work yeah. into people and that kind yeah. of stuff so yes yay <laughs> also like you know he's you know climbing was like his biggest love so i think now like he could potentially do that in like a human form and i just don't see him not doing that so he's gonna take over hodor or other people he could do hodor he could do other people Okay, just so that he can, like, yeah. have, like, working legs again and try I to climb so. towers or something. Yeah, I think so. I Like, I don't I don't see that happening right now because, you know, we're, like, at the wall, you know? Yeah, so, he's going <laughs> to climb like... the wall. That's how it's going to happen. <laughs> right, totally. Um, <laughs> he's actually going to travel back in time to when John was climbing the wall <laughs> and he's going to put himself in that position. <laughs> But yeah, no, but I, I like going I, the wrong way. Okay, anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> like I just, I just see that. But I think for right now, it'll be more of like a holy shit thing, you know? Okay. All right. Yeah. So next chapters. Do you have yeah. anything left to add? For any of these things? Let me just look really quickly. Sure. There was just one thing in the Tyrion chapter where, like, mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm just reading into things because that's just what I do these days, apparently. But, um, freaking when Tyrion was, or no, not Tyrion, when the Viper was talking about, like, oh, we came to see you, and, like, Cersei and Tywin, blah, 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 mm -hmm. I just, this phrasing just kind of threw me off, but he was like, the day before we were to sail, whilst my mom and your father were closeted together, she and Jamie took us down to your nursery. The little, like, my mother and your father were closeted oh, together. My uh, my brain just yeah. read into it. And, like, they're both single, right? Well, at this point. He maybe. Uh, wait, wasn't, didn't her consort come with her? I have no idea. I think it was, like, me and Elia and my mom and her consort. We all went to the thing. I also just think, like, they were, me like, these are two, like, powerful, like, leaders of powerful they were houses. Just, yeah. Yeah, I... Yeah, I could see why you read into that, but I don't I think, think just there was just the way it was phrased, it. like yeah, closeted together is a little yeah, weird. <laughs> yeah. It was it was giving like why why are you using it was that probably that they word. were like hold up and wouldn't like let yeah, anybody yeah, yeah. like interfere, which you know? that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I I do think I was reading into it, but I but just in case if something happened with it, like books later i wanted to point it out just so i could be like okay. i did say it and because then you wouldn't believe me right no 100 like... i want you to do that all the time please okay. do it <laughs> okay and then um oh yeah i was just thinking about okay regardless of whether okay so whether these are the wildlings that we know of like john and them or mm -hmm. whether they're not Imagine i'm just if like it's john though 
No, that would be cool, but like also bad because Cause then if they find like Bran and whoever, and then like John has to be like cool about it, but then also like help them under you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm excited for this reu- potential reunion. <laughs> okay. But whether it happens here or whether this is like you know Umbers or something else, and then eventually you know I'm hopeful that Bran and them will make it to the Wall or like something like that. Then like I'm just hopeful for an eventual John reunion at least, a John. Brand reunion at least but also but the thing that i am worried about is if they do make it to the wall what if like fucking jano slint finds them and then they're like mm. brand is actually alive and then it like, you know what i mean just it just stirs things and i just oh, yeah don't like well they that. are hoping to like avoid the populated areas of the wall so yeah hopefully so i hope not but you know you never know yeah okay we'll see yeah uh okay Prediction, or next next chapters. chapter <laughs> okay we're reading two next time give me your mm-hmm. hopes and dreams i would like to see catlin and jamie well you're gonna see neither of them unfortunately <laughs> um we're reading chapters 41 and 42 mm-hmm. chapter 41 is john <gasps> slay oh, oh my god we're Watch us get follow-up to this immediately. I feel like that's what we're going to get. We're going to get follow-up. Okay. <laughs> so it is John and party and we're going to see just what just happens Just the fact here. that John is the next chapter makes me think that. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Um, okay. Like I, know, I know usually we don't get follow-up right away, but occasionally we do. And this feels like an occasion. Okay. All right. Well, I will take it. Mm-hmm. chapter 42 which you're actually gonna have to turn to your next volume <gasps> for whoa yeah because the the version of the book that Harmouth has is split into two volumes and that tells you that we're like half halfway through yeah um so nice. chapter 42 is daenerys oh okay john and danny Ooh, um, Danny, I I never remember what this girl's up to. Can you enlighten me? <laughs> she took down Astapor. Oh yeah. Possibly want herself an army. <gasps> oh yeah. Okay, yeah. So oh yeah, because I was like I was like, the logistics don't logistic here. You know what I mean? Yeah, because, you were like, how is she gonna get there? You were like, she's yeah, gonna hang yeah. out and wait for Illyrio to send some help or something. Yeah, so maybe we're just getting to know maybe maybe she re- reunites the brother and the girl who like is in her service now. Uh, Missande so. and her brothers and who are part of the Unsullied yeah. now, yeah. And then okay. I think through that experience we'll just hear she's about She's gonna be like, queening in Astapor. Yes, exactly. Cool. Alright. Um, we do have emails and stuff, but we'll save them for next time and mm. it'll be extra special. Maybe we'll start off with stuff. And there was like Ooh. also a bunch of discourse on Discord. <laughs> I, wanna, I feel like also deserves to be shared with everyone. Mm. So look forward to that next time, people. Mm-hmm. Uh, follow us on Instagram at Pop Culture Symposium. Contribute to the discourse on Discord. The link is in the description, show notes, whatever. And uh, send us an email. Our email is popculturesymposium at gmail.com. And that, I believe, is everything. So until next time, farewell, my friends. Talk to you later.